for this year's Women's Day tea. They do it every year at our church. Oh, Brenda, that's really nice to know that people think that you can do a good job. <laughs> oh, they must have seen some of your stuff you did for the parties and weddings. Yeah, the Domini and Safra was at one of the weddings. But anyhow, Auntie, I saw this picture in one of my interior decorating magazines that I think would look gorgeous on the tables. All you do is yes. you fill a vase with different sizes of pebbles and then you pour colored water over it. Are you going to put the flowers in the vases as well? No! And look, it shows here in the picture. You put it in the middle of the table yes. and then you put little glasses around it with single flowers in them. It's going to look stunning. <laughs> I'm sure it will, Brenda. <laughs> and see, Auntie, I was just waiting. Oh. Now, Brenda, how can Auntie help you today? Well, the ladies' tea is tomorrow, and I've got like a million things to do. So I was wondering if you and Lebo wouldn't mind packing the pebbles into the vases. It can take a while because you've got to make the pebbles fit like a puzzle, you know? Put the little ones in where the big ones leave spaces. Oh, I'll be glad to help. And I'm sure Lebo would also like to help. <laughs> we both enjoy working with pretty things. Oh, do you want me to fill them with colored water as well? No, Auntie, I think they'll be a little bit difficult to transport with the water in them. But I did bring you some colored water so you can <laughs> see what the end product will look like. That sounds easy enough. You go. You go and do your million things. Lebo and I will take good care of these buses. Oh, thank you, Auntie. <laughs> I owe you and Lebo big time. But I'll leave the magazine here if you need to double check something. Okay. Bye, Auntie. Bye, Frankie. Bye. <laughs> oh, hello there. You know what? Brenda is really getting good at this decorating thing. One of these days, she'll stop working at the hairdresser and start doing this sort of thing full time. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> oh. I think these buses are going to look very beautiful. <laughs> Hi, Libs. What's all this stuff? Well, Brenda asked us to help her with one of her decorating jobs again. Cool! What are we going to be doing this time? Well, she asked if we could fill all these vases with all these different sized pebbles so that she can put them on the table as part of the decorations. There's a picture of it in this magazine. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Brenda's really getting good at decorating. That is exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Shall we get started? Sure, what must we do? Don't worry, Lips, I'll show you what to do. I guess you better be moving to the carpets again. <laughs> <laughs> That's more practical. Come. We are going to fill all these vases with all these stones. So come, put them in carefully and tell me when the verse is full. Okay. There we are, Auntie, the verse is full. Are you sure, Lips? Yes, I can't put any more stones in. No, you can't put any more large stones in. So, what about this? Oh, now I see. <laughs> There's spaces in between the big stones. Now it's full, I can't put any more stones in. <laughs> 
well, what about this? <gasps> oh, there is room! Now the vase is really, really full. You are right, Lebo. It is really, really full. You see, when a vase or a container is filled to the top, we say it's full to capacity. I think I've heard that before. Oh yes, when we talk about capacity, we are talking about how much a container will hold when it is full. So we must be sure to understand what full means. Yeah, <laughs> like when I thought the vase was full when I couldn't put any more stones in, but there was still lots of space for all the water. <laughs> exactly, my girl. So you see, Lips, when we fill a container with liquids, there are no spaces left unfilled. When we put solid objects in a container, it is different. If the objects are of an even shape or objects that don't fit perfectly together, like stones, there will always be spaces in between. That's why we measure capacity using liquid measures. So the capacity of something is normally given in millimeters and liters. Now that you know how to determine what the capacity of a container is, let's look at some containers of different sizes. Okay. Capacity, capacity, how much can it hold? Different sizes, one, two, three, four. Capacity, capacity, how much can it hold? If so, is it truly tall? Come on, level, are you game? Yes, you. Can the 500 milliliter jug and the 250 milliliter jug together hold all the water in the one liter jug? That's right. We need another 250 milliliter container like this one. Spot on. Now what fraction of one liter is in this jug? Right on. Now what fraction of one liter is in each one of these jugs? So, if you have the right amount of smaller capacity containers, you can make up the capacity of a larger one. And we can work it out in fractions. Spot on. Well done. Bye bye. Oh, oh Jeremy, are you sick, my girl? Just a little bit, but not enough to stay home from school. My mom packed me some cough syrup in my bag for me to drink when I start coughing. Will you help me pour it into the spoon, please, Auntie? Oh, yes, my girl. I hope you're not getting sick. You know what? It is never good to miss school. Have you ever taken a closer look at this spoon? Yes, I have, Auntie. It has measurements, like on a measuring jug, but just smaller. Why do you think that is? Because if we take too little medicine, then we won't get better. And if we take too much medicine, we'll get really, really <laughs> sick. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> you are right, my girl. When we're dealing with substances like medicine, we have to be extremely careful that we measure exactly and don't do mistakes. That's why when you have an injection, the doctor uses this syringe. You see? Take a look. It only holds a certain amount of meals so that he can't give more than the correct amount. Mm -mm. I don't like injections. <laughs> But if you drink your medicine like a good girl, you won't have to get one. You see, lips, it is very important to measure accurately. Only medicine? Oh, no, my girl. If you buy a liter of milk and I buy a liter of milk, I should get the same amount of milk for my money as you do. 
Or if I bake a cake and I add too much liquid or not enough liquid, my cake might not cook well. So if you put too much of something, like 15 mils of salt, instant of five mils, you won't be able to eat it. Oh, sounds like Chomi and Danga might be getting up to some mischief. Lips, my girl, are you well enough to have a peep? I'm feeling much better, thank you, Auntie. And I'd love to see what those two are up to again. <laughs> so, are you ready, Chef Tama? Hey, yes, Chef Tama. What are we making today? We are going to bake banana loaf. Oh, yummy, that's my favorite. <laughs> so I'm going to read you the recipe, and you just follow the instructions as I read them, OK? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, Tama. Don't be silly, man, Tama. I mean, I tell you what to do every step of the way. I can possibly go wrong, right? Huh. OK. 250 milliliters of oats. 250 milliliters of oats. Right. Got it. Got it. Two eggs. Two eggs. Oh, right. Got it. Got it. 45 milliliters of oil. 45 milliliters of oil. Got it. Got it. 375 milliliters of cake flour. 375 milliliters of cake flour. Right. Got it. Got it. <laughs> 125 milliliters of milk. 125 milliliters of milk. Got it. Got it. Three mashed bananas. One, two. Got it? Got it. And now the salt. Salt. One milliliter of salt. One milliliter? Just a pinch. Right. Got it? Got it. 15 milliliters of orange juice. Are we ready to pour it into the loaf tin? Aish. What do you mean, Aish? I, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, it looks just fine. Did you put everything that I read from the recipe? Uh, yeah, but. And did you measure it all out? Yeah, but. Well, then, I'm sure it's fine. We have a lot to do still today. Let's get on. I'll go pop this into the oven, and you start cleaning up. Why am I always doing all the cleaning up? You made the mess now, didn't you? Aish. But I always do all the work. <sighs> Choma, I think we might have a slight problem. Mmm, it smells good. That's just about the only good thing about it. Look. Ice all. Oh. <laughs> Right. I've never seen anything like that. I hope they don't try eating it. It looked nasty. Well, with Tommy and Tanga, you will never know. Oh, yuck. I don't even want to think of that. Well, to take your mind off that, let's pack some more pebbles in the vases for Brenda. Okay. <laughs> Jumela, auntie. Hello, Brother Stacy. <laughs> Hello, Lebo. What have you been doing today? Brenda asked auntie and I to help her fill these vases with pebbles. Then we saw Tommy and Dinga try to make a banana loaf, but Tommy made such a mess. He put the eggs in with the shell and used corn flour instead of cake flour, and when it came out of the oven, it looked pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I don't think I'm going to trust Chum and Danga in the kitchen. Brass thanks. I think the bakery owner will agree with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Lebo King. Get your bag, we need to go. Okay, Uncle Sex. Bye, Auntie. <laughs> Tell Brina to take pictures. I'd love to see what her table looks like. That's a good idea. I would love to see the final product. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Auntie. Bye, Brastex. Drive safely. <laughs> shop, shop, Auntie. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. Hey, shh. we must stop to get some petrol. The petrol price is going up again, and I want to make sure my Texas tank is full. How much petrol can the Texas tank hold, Uncle Stex? Do you mean the capacity of the petrol tank? Yes. What will the tank hold without overflowing? That's what Auntie explained to me this afternoon. Well, this petrol tank can take 50 liters of petrol. Wow! This whole capacity thing is very cool! Look, you're home, my little princess. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Stex. See you tomorrow. You know what? I better get going. I told Brenda that I'll drop this off at a church hall. <laughs> must go and catch the train. If I don't get to the station quickly, the train will be full and there will be no room for me. <laughs> like my friend always says, first come, first safe. <laughs> From me, see you tomorrow. Bye. Come on, come on, come on.